If I like Tailwind CSS, it's because we can completely customize the CSS library. On the official documentation of Tailwind, on the customization side, we see that we can configure the customization. We can also customize the content, our teams, the screens, the colors, the spacing. We can add plugins and presets. And if we start by the main file of Tailwind, which is tailwind.config.js, we see down there that we can configure the colors, the font family, but also the spacing, the border radius, etc., etc. Tailwind CSS is using classes to refer to CSS, and this CSS is actually generated on the fly. So on the tailwind.config.js file, you can write as keys of these objects, you can write classes, and those classes will irritate from the value of this key. And sometimes this value can be strings, numbers, or objects, or array. As we see down here on font family, we have a font that is added, which is graphic, and then we've got sans serif. So we see that sans serif would be the second argument of font family. Basically, here, font family sans with graphic and sans serif will make for us a font family semicolon graphic uh, sans serif. Okay? Nothing really special there. But which is cool is that you can also customize the spacing. So the spacing with Tailwind CSS, and it's a very important concept, help us to deal with the padding, the margin, the width, the height, etc, etc. So we see there that immediately we can say that the spacing that we are looking for can be defined there as pixels, rem, or any other unit. Here we've got the example of a team that specify the size of, for instance, our screens. I want to put a certain size on the sentence. Okay, so I'm going to put text dash to say that I want this text to be text LG. What happens if I put another size? Here we see that my code editor already corrected me. We got two different sizes and there is a conflict. What I can do with Tailwind is that I can say that I want to have text SM, but when I'm on LG, so when I'm on a large screen, semicolon, I want to have text LG, okay? So here, text SM will be applied to all the sizes of the screen that are lower to LG. And if I go to my tailwind.config.js, I can add the example that I have there on my team. So I'm going to take this screens, okay, on my team, and I'm going to add it. And I'm going to save. Tailwind CSS understand that all those size have a limit, a media query limit of this value every time. To make a big difference on that, what I'm going to do is to expand the size. So I'm going to have text XX and here I'm going to put text free XLs. And so there's a moment when I'm going to switch and there we go. I'm going to get back there and I'm going to move again and look here up there you get the size okay of the screen the current screen so we see that i'm moving the size and when i pass the limit which is 976 okay 176 we see that my text is changing this is because lg has been defined there as 976. let's give another example now let's say that on md i'm going to put an alternative and here I want to have a text LG and let's say that on small I'm going to have a text base okay I'm going to save this I'm going to pass step by step to all those sizes I'm going to get back and I'm going to get back there and please have a look in here on the size and when I lower the size okay little by little I'm going to pass from 
a size to another one. And look here, it's really easy to see. We change the size dynamically. It's also working for colors. It's also working for font family. And this is something really useful. Instead of having JavaScript function that help us to change classes, uh, attribute, whatever, we can use Tailwind for that. Here on the documentation, we see that the behavior can change there when we specify a width. And of course, those widths are provided by Tailwind, but you can change them, customize them if you want to or if you need to. It's exactly the same for spacing. On spacing here, you can specify that some elements there can have a specific spacing, all right? And those numbers, specific numbers, they are used. So if I go here and I put my spacing, sorry, object there with this, this spacing would be applied to all classes that are calling as an argument the spacing. Here we got two sentences and we want to put some space under the first sentence. When I go to my page, I apply a margin bottom of one. To understand how to add margin, padding and spaces, please refer to the video spaces. In my tailwind.config.js, I said that the spacing one that I, that I applied here as an argument of the class is eight pixel. But just for the example, let's put 100 pixel and let's get back to our application and updating. And here we see that now the spacing with one is of 100 pixel. So you can build your entire system of spacing with Tailwind. And this is really amazing because Tailwind is by nature providing a, a, a already made a spacing grid. But actually, if you have a different vision and if the design system that has been given to you by a graphic designer, for instance, is different from Tailwind, actually you can build a, a new design system directly there with your own spacing way deeper into the customization possibilities. With Tailwind, you can create what we call plugins. And plugins, it's some kind of helpers that helps you to create style sheets with JavaScript. So it can be useful in many, many situations. If you want to um, create some elements, such as utilities, such as components, match component, add base, add variance. Let's say that you want to go way deeper into the work of a front-end developer and create really, really specific design. You would need to create what we call a plugin. What are arbitrary values? Well, it's values that you can directly inject into the CSS class that you got there. So let's take an example. Let's take this background color there, which is not part of my customization file. Okay. I just put that and we see that IntelliSense already recognized the color. Okay. And when I save and I get back to the app, there we go. My color has been applied. So these arbitrary values are values that you use not necessarily everywhere, but you set up directly inside the current CSS class there. And that's what is cool with Tailwind. We can also build on the fly like this without registering all the values that we want to customize inside tailwind.config.js. We can build our design system like this directly in line what we call inline style, directly into the HTML. Using Tailwind CSS is amazing because it provides to us a lot of classes already written CSS that we can use. But do we really need to never write CSS? Sometimes we do, we need to write CSS. Tailwind is providing to us a directive called layer. So when I go to my global.css file, and I'm going to close all of this to be clear, there we go, we can apply layer, okay? Layer is a directive that helps us to write CSS for a certain scope. 
Up there, we, up, we imported actually Tailwind already. So layer here is available there. And down there, we see that layer, okay, can add style to Tailwind base component and utilities. And remember, base component and utilities are on the top, they are imported. And I can overwrite here on by typing layer base. That I want to have, we could do over there, background color, yes. And let's put, for instance, lime. All right. If I get back to my app, what's going to happen? I go here, I update, and there we go. We've got the color uh, that has been applied there. Instead of writing this, I can use apply, apply di directive, help me to call, actually, to call the classes that are provided by Tailwind. So here we see that I have an apply text to Excel, but let's say that we want to do apply BG and let's say BG, uh, let's put a gray slate, there we go. And I'm going to say like this, I'm going to get back there and remove this class that I had previously, removing it. And there we go. I get back, I update, and what's going to happen is that I have my background in gray. So what happened here is that I can call as much as I want Tailwind classes. So I can call text white, for instance, and there we go. So here at the beginning of a project, I should go to tailwind.config.js, adding all my classes, spaces, typography. And when I want to do really custom CSS, I can go back on my global.css and apply my class there. Source of Tailwind for me, it's using this apply directive. What we can do, we can chain actually. We can chain the classes there. So we earn visibility, time, and our code is more clear, more easy to understand. And I'm going to do a text LG. So I think text LG, yeah, text LG and font bold. All right. So when I get back, there we go. My still has been applied. Another function that I should mention here is that you can use multiple CSS files. And by that, you can mention them in your post CSS import. If you don't want to write CSS, you can focus on writing plugins. So as I told you, plugins are JavaScript functions, basically, that will help you to write CSS by JavaScript. You can find it here on writing plugins on the official documentation. You saw that Tailwind is highly customizable and I really love that. I really love that because as a front-end developer, I always want to be free and to find a solution to create my own design system. If you like this video, please make a thumbs up, please subscribe, a comment, and see you for the next time. Ciao!